Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to be going over some of the different gator style blades that are available for your mower. So I want to be clear right up front that there's only one company that actually calls their blades gator blades, and that's Oregon. They make the Gator G3, the G5, and the G6 blades. Now the term gator blades just gets used commonly throughout the industry when referring to a tooth style blade. There's several other companies here that make a tooth style blade that are not actually called gator blades. Now I'm gonna be going over some of the different tooth style blades that are available to try to help you determine if there's gonna be one of them that's gonna be better for your particular situation. Now all the blades that we're looking at here today are all made to fit the exact same machine. So we're gonna be comparing apples to apples. Now the main purpose of these tooth style blades is to help mulch your grass up better without having to actually install a mulch kit on your machine. The tooth style lift wing on these blades helps direct the grass clippings back towards the center of the blade so that that grass continues to get chopped up as it's moving across your deck. Two style blades also do exceptionally well during the fall and spring when you're doing your leaf cleanups. They do a really good job of mulching up those leaves so that you don't have to mess with bagging them. But you can run these blades year round, which is what I do on my machine. Now this is what you would consider a traditional style two-step or wavy mulch blade that would be installed on a machine that actually had a mulch kit. These blades typically don't have a lot of lift to them. That way they just cut the grass off and then drop it back down. If you try to install a gator blade that has a lot of lift to it or a high lift blade with a mulch kit, you'll end up just packing those grass clippings up in the deck and they can't fall back down like they need to. As I mentioned earlier, the gator blades from Oregon are available in a G3, a G5, and a G6. Now the G5 and the G6 are gonna be very similar blades. They're both gonna be quite a bit wider and thicker than any of the other blades that we have here, as well as they're both gonna be a high lift blade. So they're gonna have about an inch worth of lift where your more standard lift blades are only gonna be about a three quarter inch lift. They both have the extended cutting edge as well as the carbide infused edge which is supposed to help these blades stay sharper for longer. There is a pretty big difference between the G3 and the G5 blades. The G3 typically aren't any wider than what your standard blade is gonna be. They also don't have the extended cutting edge. They don't have the carbide infused edge and they're more of a standard lift. They only have about three quarters of an inch of lift. Now having more lift is gonna give you more velocity under the deck. So it's gonna help suck your grass up better, cut it off cleaner, and then help discharge it out farther away from the machine. So that works really well if you're fighting a lot of crabgrass or clover or weeds that hold a lot of moisture and wanna clump up on you. So having that more velocity is gonna help break that grass up better and then kick it out farther away from the deck. The only time that I wouldn't recommend using a high lift blade is if you're in very sandy or dirty conditions. Having more lift is gonna just suck up even more dirt and sand and end up wearing your blade out faster. Now this is a Gator G5 blade that got ran in some pretty dirty sandy conditions. And what it did was just wore off the, the back lift wing of the blade. Once your blade loses that lift wing, it just doesn't create the suction or vacuum that it needs to to really suck your grass up and get it cut off clean and then get it thrown out away from the machine. So once your blade looks like this, you just got to replace it. So now we're going to take a look at the Sten Silver Streak Toothed Blade. Now these blades are gonna be more comparable to the Gator G3 blade. They're gonna have about a three quarter inch lift or so. They don't have a carbide infused edge or the extended cutting edge. These are still a pretty decent blade and if you can't get the Gator blades for your machine or you can't have the high lift blades in your application, then this would probably be my next best choice. Now this is the rotary copperhead toothed blade. 
And one of the big differences that you'll notice between the copperhead tooth blade and the other blades that I have here is that they turn the teeth the other way. Now, honestly, I can't tell you why they do that, what their reasoning is behind that, but I can tell you from my personal experience in running these blades that I just don't think they do as good a job chopping that grass up as the other style blades do. Now, another thing that Rotary does claim about their copperhead blades is that they have the sharpest blades in the world and that is their exact wording, that this is the sharpest mower blade in the world. Now, honestly, comparing all these blades together, laying right in front of me, brand new blades, I really can't see that this copperhead blade is much sharper than any of these other blades. And the big issue with brand new blades like this is they have to coat these blades to keep them from rusting. So this blade could have been very sharp before it got coated, but once you add a couple millimeters worth of coating on there, it just kind of rounds the tip over, just like it does on all these other blades. So for my personal machine, I just have gotten in the habit of any time I'm installing a new set of blades, I'll just go ahead and touch this edge up a little bit before I even install it on my machine the first time, just to get a nice super sharp edge on there. So I would think that if you're gonna claim that you have the world's sharpest mower blade, that blade better be sharp enough that you can shave with it. And I just don't see that with these blades. Now the last blade that we're gonna take a look at is the HXT Predator blade. Now these again are gonna be very similar to the Stins tooth blade as well as the G3 blade. They're just not as wide as the G5 and the G6. These are a pretty thick blade, I would say even thicker than the Stins blade, but they just don't have as much lift to them and they don't have the carbide infused edge. So I think these are gonna be a pretty good blade. They're pretty new to the market though. We don't have as much history on these blades as we do from some of these other manufacturers. Now we've tested out all these different blades in the past and I can just tell you from our experience that the Gator G5s and G6s just performed better than any of the other tooth style blades. So out of all these blades that we've got laid out here, I think the best pick if you can run a high lift blade is going to be the Gator blade in either a G5 or a G6. These blades just seem to do the best job for us in mulching up the grass. They stay sharpest the longest with the carbide infused edge and they really help kick that grass out away from your deck. Now the best place that I found to actually look up to see if gator blades are available for your machine is at jacksmallengine.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can go there and either search by make and model of your machine or you can search by the dimensions of your blade. Jack seems to keep a pretty good inventory of these blades in stock as well as having good pricing and a fast shipping time. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.